Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you how to install the Hermes proxy and the Arctium World of Warcraft launcher. This is basically to play the um, World of Warcraft classic client on a private server that only supports 1.12.1. I will show you what you need, um, how to install it and how to get it uh, running. Some warnings I need to tell you, though, are I can't give you the World of Warcraft Classic client. I can't give you a link. I can't give you that. So I'm really sorry for that. Where I'm from, this is strictly illegal to share those um, things around. I will leave links in the description for the Arctium launcher and for Hermes proxy. Also uh, for some other stuff. And I will also put the link to the Brotalnia guide in the description as well. Since uh, I'm showing you this on Everlook, I think you know what Everlook is. Um, just to make it short, it's a progressive uh, vanilla private server. The Everlook team made clear that you are not supposed to use this method. They only support the 1.12.1 client. So if you have trouble with the 1.14 classic era client, this is not their issue, so you know what's up. This is basically for us, the community. Also, you need to bear in mind, this is not like you set up your 1.12.1 client and then it just works all the time. This might break in the future. Bear this in mind, this is not just set up and done. You need to tinker with this. The Everlook team does not support it. I just want to make this sure. There are legal issues. I don't want to go into more detail uh, into it. They c just can't, okay? That's not like they are lazy or something like this. They can't. They can't do it. If other projects are doing it or are risking it, that's their prerogative. But they can't. So I just want to make that sure. This has nothing to do basically with the Everlook uh, project or the team. Um, I'm just using it it as an example because I play on Everlook and I do content for that. So with that out of the way, sorry for the uh, uh, long introduction, but this needed to be said. And um, let's get right into the, into the portion what you actually need to uh, run this. Like I mentioned before, you need an 1.14 client. This is the World of Warcraft Classic client. Then you need the Hermes proxy software. And then you need the Arctium World of Warcraft launcher software. I will also have a link in the description since those files are uh, zip files. You need a program to um, extract those files. I use 7-zip. Link will be in the description. You need to download and install that. I also have here a website that is called Rios Total. That is a fantastic site even if you just want to check if a website is safe to use or you downloaded a file and you're not sure about it you can actually upload files here and uh, check the url so i will leave this in the description just don't blindly trust me check this with the site the site is trusted this is an amazing site let's go to the hermes proxy site first as you can see here is an um, explanation what is what it does what you need to do in combination you need the Arctium World of Warcraft launcher and it will also give you some commands don't worry about it I will go over this let's just download this so where the heck can you download this github is always a bit confusing if you used it for your first time don't worry about it you should see this here there is a release box here just click on releases and then you see a lot of stuff here. There's basically different releases. You want to take the most recent and stable version. In this case, it's the, just the latest version. It's from the 21st of November, so very recent. You need to download the Hermes Proxy Windows V3.2 zip file. Just left click on this. And it will ask you uh, or download it wherever you make it. So I will put this into my um, other drive here. So let's go back. You can go back via the arrow or you just click on Hermes proxy. 
let that open. So now onto the Actium WoW launcher page. Do the same here on releases and we have a launcher signed latest. There's a lot of stuff you actually can do. You can modify this. I personally wouldn't recommend to modify anything because you might get banned, especially on the project I am playing on Everlook. So don't modify things. Just use the normal Windows x86 uh, 64 zip file here. Just download that. I put that to the same um, folder where I downloaded uh, the Hermes proxy. I would um, personally ignore the Actium launcher thing here. Just ignore this for now. So, since we have downloaded that, let's open the folder where it actually is. So, I have this here now. You should see this. And what we need to do, Hermes proxy, you can basically unzip here. Sorry, this is on German. You basically unzip this here. Um, if you use 7-zip, uh, you can actually uh, create this into its own folder. And that's what I do. It's extracting that there, as you can see. And basically, you can delete the zip file after this. When you lo uh, look into here, it's just an exe and uh, some other files here. That doesn't matter. Next thing would be to extract the Archeum World of Warcraft launcher. Open this up. Go into your World of Warcraft folder. Uh, from the classic era that is that is the 1.14 client I was talking about and now you extract that into your World of Warcraft folder here just drag and drop or unzip it like ever however you want to to basically you can close this again it's there the next step would be to make a shortcut of that right click the launcher and make a shortcut of, of it. You can also make this shortcut uh, for your um, desktop, send it there, wherever you want this to be. Just for simplicity's sake, I will put this in the same folder here. So, why did we do this? If you right-click the normal launcher.exe file here and go under Properties, you can't really modify it. That's why we made also the shortcut, because when you go under the shortcut, under properties, you suddenly have a text prompt here. That's pre pretty much the target. What I want you to do next is open the Hermes proxy website again. And if you scroll down, you have usage instruction. And here's one with minus minus static seed space minus minus version equals classic error and that is what we need for vanilla world of warcraft in this case just copy this and then under uh, target here in this um, text uh, box here make a space only one space and then copy paste it you need to make sure there is only one space and after static seed there's also only one space and after that there's nothing else and then you press apply and okay so next thing to do is go on under your classic error folder here double click that go into your VTF folder go into your config file if this is only white or something like this from the icon, don't panic. Right click this and open it with a text uh, editor. So you open this and then you have the text file here. Don't panic. No biggie. So you see set portal is set to EU. What you want to do here is put your local host IP address in here. This is basically the same for everyone else, so don't worry. Just use th this exact IP address. This is 127.0.0.1. If you uh, want to know what a local host is, I will have a Wikipedia page uh, in the description as well. Just save this. And you can close this again. So, you are basically done with this part here. You can open your Hermes proxy folder. 
And then there is a text file. Open this text file, please. Stay calm and collect it. And you want to basically find down here. Here's the server address. And here's also the local host. This is the default, basically. And I want you to change this here, this value, because we need to put the uh, realm list from your desired project here. In my case, this would be the realm list from Everlook. Log on dot ever look make sure it's uh, written correctly dot org and that is basically the realm list so now you save this that is pretty much done as well what we need to do now is launch Hermes proxy just double click that and uh, wait until it's done so it's done basically for now Don't worry about it. It's also a nice tool if you understand it later on, if you have some issues, but let's not get into that. And now go back to your World of Warcraft Classic era thing and just use the Arctium World of Warcraft launcher shortcut you made. Don't use the normal World of Warcraft launcher. Don't use the WoW Classic EXE. Use the Arctium World of Warcraft Launcher shortcut. So it will do its thing like you so, uh, have seen there. And there we are. So let me type this in. There we go. Have a look. If you have trouble logging in there at that part... And it says something like your invalid username or password. Make sure the realm list was set correctly. And on in the case of Everlook, if you use two-factor authentication via another app, this won't show you that. So you basically would need to disable that or beforehand log into uh, Everlook with your... 1.12.1 client then you uh, need to put in the to uh, factor authentication key then you can log back out and then log in so that's what I needed to do because I don't want to um, lose the two uh, factor authentication you know safety and yeah we are basically here on Everlook you see here other people Paramount is here um, another caveat uh, to the 1.12.1 client would be you can't really see how many people there are because there are much more people than this. Later on I will show you how the graphics are different. I mean you see this how beautiful this already is here but I will show you a side by side. Also on the population since I'm a noob there's most likely some sort of command you can run but um, as you can see this says 49 people that's not true there are much more and another problem is if you want uh, to use the GMs a GM ticket you can't use the menu here you would need to make a, a macro I will leave this uh, as a link if you play on uh, Everlook as you can see we are on the 1.14 client Let's have a look. Look at this, what you can actually change. We can make the ground clutter almost gone. You can up this. Uh, you can even put the graphics here. You can go bananas. Look how sharp that looks. I mean, I'm recording on uh, at 1080p. You don't really see that that much, but it is crisp as hell. So that's pretty impressive in my opinion. I know that uh, some of you guys have trouble with the 1.12.1 client and I want you that you are being able to at least play a little bit, you know, um, because, for example, don't miss out on this project here. It's really amazing. And I heard uh, a lot of you guys um, having issues with the 1.12.1 client. I understand this. And like I said in the beginning, you need to, to tinker a lot with this, but... I hope 
this is this makes it playable for you you know um it, it just makes me sad you know uh, you can't play on it because of um the uh, client issues and something like this and i hope this helps you just you need to bear in mind there will be times where it breaks again and you will need to tinker again um good thing is if it breaks, make sure you have the up uh, up to date um, Hermes proxy, for example. Um, they will update this then and stuff like this. So, another big thing why this is um, maybe important for you guys, since it's the classic World of Warcraft client, you can use weak hours and stuff like this here. I have this weak hour here. You, you, uh, and you know how that works. You can share between each other. So that's uh, the big part where you guys come into play. You can share your weak hours in vanilla World of Warcraft. That's pretty amazing. Here, look. That's it's just amazing. You can have this work. Just amazing in my opinion. A big uh, thing why this is important. Also, I will have, of course, a side-by-side -side shot, how it looks, how fishing behaves under the circumstances and stuff like this. If this was of help to you, please consider liking the video, maybe subscribe, maybe uh, leave a comment. Would love, uh, to, uh, no, uh, would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Did it work for you? Did you have any issues? I can't promise you if I can help you, but I will try my best or others in the community can also try to help you. So that's pretty cool. If you didn't like it, just uh, leave a dislike. No biggie. Um, yeah, other than that, enjoy the rest of the video footage here. Have a nice day, guys, and stay safe out there. <laughs> bye bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day guys. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Vincent out. Bye bye.